Good afternoon, everyone. I am Naveen Nakhilwal. I am assistant vice president at GSD, and I welcome you all to this very short video tutorial on how to verify an e invoice. Uh, so the agenda for this webinar is that currently we have expanded the e invoice ecosystem. A taxpayer who is eligible for e invoice reporting can report an e invoice across six IRP portal. So we thought that it will be very helpful for taxpayer to tell them that what are the functionalities we have released through which taxpayer can verify an e invoice. So the agenda for today's discussion is I will quickly tell you how e invoice reporting is done and then what are the methods for verification available including the online method for verification and how e-invoice QR code works and how you can verify the e-invoice QR code through an e-invoice verification mobile app. So this is the very brief agenda of today's discussion. So let's get started. So currently as a taxpayer, you continue to generate your e-invoice in a given schema or format using your existing ERP software. And then a taxpayer is required to report that e invoice in a given format in any of the six IRP portals. And once you report that e invoice to any of the six IRP portal, IRP portal gives an unique e invoice reference number and then transmit that invoice reference number to GST system to check that there is no deduplication of it. And if GST system responds that if this IRN number is unique, IRP issues you an e invoice with a unique IRN number, which is a 64 digit number. And they also embed or inject a QR code in the e invoice schema, which is sent back to the taxpayer. So, in any invoice which you receive from an IRP, has IRN number, which is unique, as a QR code, which has 11 attributes and can be used on the verification of e-invoice. So now, with this information, let's see what are the two methods of verifications and what are the elements that you can verify in via these two methods. The first method of verification is an online mode. And the second method of verification is an offline mode via a mobile app. So now see what can you verify and how you can verify an e and in online mode. To verify things in online mode, you need to visit einvoice.gst.gov.in, which is the einvoice master information portal. There you will see search IRN tab in the portal on the front page. If you click on the search IRN tab on the front page, you will see the screen which you are currently seeing on my screen right now. And this is, it has two options whether you can input an IRN number or you can give the supplier GSTIN financial year document type which is either it is invoice, credit note, debit note and you have to give the document number which is a reference number mentioned under invoice and by giving either of these two information and on clicking search you will get the result and when result it will be displayed that whether this IRN number exists or not if it exists on which IRP it was reported, on which date it was reported, and it will also show its status, whether it is active or cancelled. So this, in online mode, you will be able to verify this much limited information, whether that IRN is active, cancelled, or if it doesn't exist. If it is active or cancelled, then name of the IRP and date of reporting. So that's a one way of verifying an invoice. In this, you will not be able to verify other details of invoice. Now, oh, there is a second method for verifying an invoice. And how you can do that? So, every invoice has a QR code which is embedded by an IRP. And this QR code has 11 attributes. Here you can verify more attributes what you are able to verify in online mode. Here you will be able to verify 11 attributes starting with supplier GSTIN, recipient GSTIN, document type, document number, document date, invoice value, number of line items, what is the main HSN code, IRN number itself, IRN generation date, 
and which IRP has issued this QR code and IRN number, whether it is IRP 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. So now you can see if you compare in online mode, you have a very limited number attributes which you can verify. You can only check whether it is active or cancelled. Okay, and here in offline mode, you can verify the attributes which are embedded in this QR code. But let me tell you one thing, here you will not be able to verify whether this IRN number is active or cancelled. So in any case, if you have a doubt whether this IRN number is active or cancelled, post verification of QR code, you should go and use search IRN functionality which I have shown you previously, available on the EUIS FO port. Right? So now, we have this method of ATF verification. Now let's see how you can uh, access this app and do this verification. So we have developed for this offline verification in invoice QR code verifier app. This app is available both on the Play Store and Apple i Store, App Store. And you can click or you can scan the QR code which you are currently seeing on your screen and you can download this app. Once you download this app, this app is something which you can use to verify an invoice QR code, which is QR code which is embedded in the invoice. And you can use this app without any registration. It's a non-login based app. And it helps you to verify any invoice reported across all six IRPs portal in India. So these are some of the basic attributes of the app. Now let's see what are the steps involved. So as I told you, first step, you need to download this app. For this, depending upon your phone model, you need to either go to the Play Store or the App Store. And if you search by Inverse QR Code Verifier app, you will be able to download this app. So first thing, you need to download this app. Second thing, once you click on this app, you need to give necessary permission for app to access your camera so that it can scan the QR code which you want to verify, right? Once you have given this permission, you need to pan the app towards the QR code. And at this point of point here, I want to caution the user that the QR code which is embedded in e invoice is a little bit data heavy. In what do I mean by data heavy? That it has 11 attributes. So and here, while you are panning the camera towards the QR code app, Please ensure that you give some sufficient time for this app to read the attributes which are mentioned in this QR code. So hold it for one or two, three seconds properly. Right? Once you have done that, app will give you a result. And it will show you all the 11 attributes which I have shown you in the previous slides. What are the values against that? And it will also show you what are the, who, which IRP has signed this invoice. Right? Here, I would like to take, I will take some caution and tell you that in case you don't get a proper result, in that case, it may be interfere that this QR code may be invalid or maybe it was tempered. However, in all such cases, you should always go and check with search IRN functionality. Go back to the search IRN functionality put the INN number there and check whether INN number is valid or not. So whenever you the app shows that invoice QR code is not verified, you should always go and check INN number which is mentioned or which you wanted to search. You should always go to search INN functionality on invoice FO portal and search INN number there. Having said that, we have also embedded few functionalities in this app in terms of that, this app uh, has both, uh, we have embedded the FAQ, which if you click on the icon on the I icon on the app, you will get the FAQ. We have also embedded the light mode and dark mode functionality in the app. If you click on the crescent moon or the sun, you will get a dark mode, light mode. And we also have the customer key number embedded in the app. So uh, lastly, let me tell you how you can download this app other than what we have the QR code which we have shown. You can also go to our portal eInvoice.gst.gov.in and there will be a tab called eInvoice QR Code Verification App. If you click on that, you will get the QR code from both Play Store and App Store to download this app. You just simply need to pan your camera and you will get the link to download this app. Other than that, what we have done to ensure that uh, 
uh, cross-functional access to these e-invoice verification uh, app. Uh, we have also all of our IRP partners, six IRP partners, have also provided a similar kind of app and functionality on their portal to verify any of the e-invoice. So you can go to all of the six IRP portal as you can see on your screen and you can download a similar kind of application for verification of e-invoice. And moving forward, what we have also done is that uh, we have also created a very detailed FAQs and manual for this. And you can scan the QR code which you are seeing on your screen to download the FAQ and the manual for the same app. So this was a very brief, short introduction about e how to verify an e-invoice. And if you have any more questions or suggestions, feel free to write in the comment section. Thank you for joining and tuning in today. Have a good day.